morning and welcome back to another keto video. Today we're doing a street food essentials tour with Bondabu Tours. We're so excited because we're going to get a whole introduction to Ecuadorian cuisine. Hey, bring it, bring, bring it. Hi, nice to meet you, Daniela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, Daniela. How are you guys? We have just met up with our tour guide, Daniela. She's Hi. going to be showing us all around Quito today and showing us the best yummy treats to eat. Let's get started. Come get a look to our city. Mercado Arenas okay. and it's basically one of the most iconic markets of Old Town and it was a great way to put all the street vendors in one same place and at the same time allow them to have a place you know and not just be wandering around. You're gonna see that we forge a lot of stuff here but especially kitchens and since we're also on a food tour I feel like it's nice to know where it comes from even the kitchens you know yeah. where this is where it starts I feel like it's the Home Depot um, of Quito. This is a very traditional Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. For sure, there's like a whole aisle with just tools. You can find a little bit of everything here. Like we're just looking at all the shops and there's just like clothes. They're like forging metal. There's like typewriters. It's definitely an interesting market. There's rain jackets. I love the vibe. ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos. Hola, ¿Cómo ha pasado? Bienvenidos. Esta es la Plaza Arenas. Es un sitio turístico para todos ustedes que quieren venir. Gracias. Mucho gusto, señor. Pásenme. How friendly was he? So friendly. The people here are so nice. Bienvenidos. 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 Very nice things here. This is fritada, so this is the pork. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm so excited for this. So, a plate full of yummy things. We have the fritada, which is the fried pork. We've been seeing this corn everywhere. It's toasted corn. I thought it was a peanut, not a peanut. Then we have some vegetables that are soaked in lemon juice, and then the potatoes. And Daniela told us that there are over 300 types of potatoes here in Ecuador, and this is I mean, just one of them, but that blows my mind that there's over 300. And then I also wanted to talk about the ahi too, because I love spicy food and I love ahi, but this one is so different than the one that we just tried in Colombia. This one is made with the tree tomato. I didn't like the tree tomato, but I love this sauce. Tommy and I have had it on many of our other dishes that we've had here, and this one is delicious. So let's dig in. So I'm going in for the, sorry, say it one more time. Fritada. Fritada. You, wait, pause. You know what I think of fritada? I think of the Spain. Fritada, yeah, no. Fritada. Fritada. Yum. <laughs> Wow, that is delicious. Mm. The pork is so savory and it's so like salt, salty but not overly salted and it's crunchy on the outside and just so soft on the inside. This is delicious. Yeah, that's a good way to cook it. Like it has to be on the inside. Okay, I want to try the toasted corn. We had this the other day sprinkled on top of an almuerzo soup, but we haven't had it plain yet. Yeah, you can make it more like a snack and then you can go just around by a snack. It's so good. Well, it Crunchy salted corn, like fresh corn nuts. It's delicious. So this is the madrudo, which is a plantain that's on the sweeter side, so in the late stages of being ripe. This is pretty typical. You get this with the almuerzos and typically with the menestra at dinner. Yeah, exactly. 
gives you like this sweet taste inside the dish, you know? Because you can be eating something that's so salty and just having the maduro there gives you a reset to go back to the, the salt side. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really nice like change of pace. Like she said, the pork is a little bit salty, the corn nuts are a little bit salty, and then when you have the bite of sweetness, and also with the acidic veggies too. It's a very balanced plate of flavors. Love it. Wow, what a great environment that was. It was so nice to hear her cook it, deliver it to us. The food was amazing. Only $2 per plate. Unbelievable. Great start to the food tour. I'm ready for the next stop. <laughs> no, no, you're <laughs> Looks safe, right? Yeah, sure. Imagine trying to find the one that's broken, like. Oh yeah, no yeah. way. That's it. That's it for photo. Yeah. Do again. They're making potato chips. Oh, look how good those look. Um, so interesting to walk down the street and you can find a little shop making homemade potato chips. It's, yeah. Looks delicious. Looks so yummy. I would eat potato chips all day long if I worked there. Wow. It looks a lot like a ceviche. You so usually always put a little bit of lemon. It's gonna enhance flavors. And then we have two types of ahi. This is the typical. Let's try. Let's try to guess the flavor. Okay. <laughs> Salud. A ver. Okay. You know it already. Bubblegum? No. Wait. Oh, banana. Banana. I love bananas. It's weird, right? If you would say to someone, let's have a banana soda. I maybe you because you're a banana lover apparently, but <laughs> I don't even notice the banana until they said banana. It just tastes like a refreshing, busy soda, you know? We're gonna stop playing these guess the flavor games. I'm you keep guessing. <laughs> now we're gonna bet. No, next time. <laughs> okay, so we have the cevichocho. Okay, the ceviche and the chocho. So many toppings on here. We're trying the aji con mani, the aji with peanuts. The most interesting thing about this to me is the popcorn. Like, what does the popcorn come into play? Usually we put it on soups or stuff like that. It's kind of like a little thing, a topping that you add on it. I love that. I love Why it. not? Okay, so essentially this is a vegetarian dish. The same ceviche base that's in that fish ceviche just with the chocho. So, cheers. Nice. So good. I love this. I love ceviche and I've tried many different types of ceviche but I've never had one like this. The chocho is, this is such an interesting texture and flavor. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like there's definitely like chew to it. Like there's like a crunch to it almost. It is delicious and if you're looking for a good vegetarian option, this is it. It's amazing. So this restaurant is only known for its cevichochas. It's pretty amazing. Behind me you can see the menu so you can add tuna if you want for a dollar or shrimp. So affordable. Our dish we shared was only a dollar fifty. Such a healthy way to eat. Wow, delicious. Mangoes are the ones that we usually have, but these ones we call it mangoes de chupar. These ones they're made like to suck on them. So what you do, you kind of like you made them soft. Oh, okay. You take out kind of like the juice out, you know? Uh-huh. It's like a, a stress ball. Now you see that it's soft. Yeah. You take out, you peel it on top. Okay. Mm. Wow. Like a little fresh oh. mango juice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing is when you're done having it, you usually like peel it off and have the like the huge seed and you take it but it's so hairy that you always end up with stuff in your teeth that's the only downside to oh it. but it's like but it's so, so you, tasty it's like you're making your own juice and then you just suck it out of the hole it's so delicious he was selling seven for one dollar you know wow. seven for a dollar mm -hmm. you can't beat that really we have someone in the streets. one dollar every bag is one dollar okay. so see you have even like a lot of onions tomatoes this is sweet no way this um, is one dollar this is one dollar, right? Yeah. We've been buying all our fruits at the wrong places. 
So a bunch of the locals here sell them right on the street. They look way fresh. Every bag is only a dollar. They usually come with five or six different fruits. Not at the grocery store, buy them on the street. We're having empanadas de viento. So we're, it's called empanadas de viento because, so it's kind of like deep fried dough. Yeah. Ooh, they fill it up with cheese and Love we that. eat it with sugar. Love that. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. <laughs> so Daniela saw our video where we tried some fruit and saw that I didn't like the tree <laughs> tomato. So she's here to change my mind and she's gonna serve it in a juice, which juice. everybody said in the comments, you need to try it in a juice. So we're going to try it. It's so good. I do the tours, I try not to eat everything because I can be eating everything. So I choose my battles, <laughs> but this is a battle that I'm never gonna stop oh fighting. My. Like, wow. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I mean, does it get better than that? You can eat this every day. Like you yes. can't, but <laughs> you can. just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Wow, look at that. The wind, the wind empanada. I mean, we've tried a lot of empanadas and Daniela was telling us earlier that, you know, food is similar across the South American countries, but different. So this empanada is definitely different than any other empanada we've had. It's incredible. Incredibly greasy also. What do they make it so good? Yeah, come mm, on. Oh I wonder, so wait, wait, you're having it without the secret okay. ingredient. Mm. This is basically the cream to this. <gasps> that the sugar? Yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. Okay. It's gonna change the whole flavor. Okay, I'm gonna do it just on the first part. So the empanada with cheese with sugar. Game changer. You make me too hungry. I just a, now. just a couple of girls and their empanadas. I already had my first bite. Fried bread is so good, and the cheese is delicious. She was saying how local it is. We're up here in the mountains. I just applied some sugar. Mm. Best stuff yet. This is amazing. Babaco, new juice. I'm excited. We can't get enough of the juices here in South America. Oh, it's so easy. It's very light with a little bit of tang to it. Oh, so refreshing though. I love how it's not super cold. You can tell it's just freshly squeezed the juices here. Okay, and then the tomate de arbol. Salud. That's really good too. Kind of reminds me of like a, similar to a carrot juice. It's kind of the texture. A little bit sweeter though. I think you might actually like this, Sammy. Try really? it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, tomate de arbol. Wasn't a huge really? fan of fresh fruit, but this everyone said I need to try it in a juice, so salud. Mm. Yeah? Yes. Okay. okay. Tomate de arbol is back on the game. Back on the table. <laughs> it definitely needs to be put into a juice. It's very earthy. It's not like a typical sweet juice, but definitely tastes healthy. Okay, and this one was the... That's going to be more your jam. Mm. Okay. I was expecting it to be way sweeter. It's so mild, very fresh. You could also... These are two drinks you could drink a lot of. They're not too sweet. This is delicious. So which one do you like better? I actually think I'm gonna go with the tomate de arbol because it has a little bit more flavor than this one does. Mentiroso. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't make me. You have to in the camera. Gracias por todo. Muy delicioso. Best empanada ever had. Don't miss this stop. Delicious. Once again!
ahead of my time, so now I don't see any clients. Now I'm going to This is the park of the Legido. I like this park. This park is beautiful, it's huge. And this park was really, really known because of one guy who's called Michelena. And he did a lot of uh, stand-up comedy within the park. Oh my gosh, that's a, oh wait, I need to try it. Oh sure, that's gonna work, but I like it. a very well-equipped outdoor gym. Stop. Very uncomfortable at Wow, this would be the worst workout ever. I'd slip. Hey, let go and just run on it. See if it works. No, I would slip. Really? It's so slippery, there's no way. You try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I just slip. You go so fast though. This is elliptical. Outdoor Wait, gym, pretty legit. Like oh, that you have for the arms also? Yeah. Okay, this has turned into a workout video. <laughs> yeah, this is this is legit actually. Yeah. That one's never even tried. Let's see the pro. Equally. Yeah, but it's weird better than this. Stair stepper. Yeah, I like it's it. Like little obliques. So we're entering this market now. It's supposed to be where all the taxi drivers hang out at, and since they know the city so well, you know the street food's gonna be amazing. Hola. Hola. All right, we've just arrived to our next stop. I love this little market. So usually this word we have juices, but since we just had two new ones, I can miss her try a local beer. I don't think we've had a local beer yet in Ecuador, so I'm pretty excited. Ultimo. Whoa. So this yes. is a very typical dish that we eat in the coast. It's called viche. And viche, I'll explain what it yeah. has. And this is the national lager beer that we drink. It's one, either we have Pilsener, that's actually the name of the brand, Pilsener, or Clou. And that is stuffed cow stomach. We call it guatita. But the flavor is amazing and it's made out of it's made with a lot of peanuts. This is cow stomach. Cow stomach. Okay, she's convinced me to try some cow stomach. So it's cow stomach stewed with potatoes and we're gonna eat it with a little bit of rice. I've never ever tried this before. Is this the stomach? Yep. No, I'm eating them all together. So a bite of the three together. Okay. Dame dos guatas. Wow. The guatita. He was looking at me. <laughs> Did you like it? No. no. You didn't like the guatita? You didn't tell her it's cow stomach? Yeah. It's so chewy. Yeah, but maybe now try the, just the potato with the sauce. Because the sauce is amazing. The sauce? Okay, the stomach's down. The sauce is actually really, really good with the potato. That's really, really nice. It's the stomach part that gives it the flavor, I'm sure, but I could do without that texture. Salud. First local beer in Ecuador. With ice. Oh yeah, that's easy, that's so good. It's a typical lager. It's called Cerveza Club. Classico. I can get used to that. Okay, now we're trying the cow's stomach. I got a big piece of it. So it's a very typical dish called the Wadita. Wadita? Wadita. Delicious. The stomach kind of tastes like a big piece of fat, but great flavor. I like it. All right, I'm very excited about this. This looks like a really yummy stew. She said there's fish, plantain, crawfish, shrimp. 
all kinds of good stuff. So let's dig in. Try the broth. Okay, so broth. Savory, seafoody, but not fishy. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And with fish. And I'm gonna go in for the crawfish. <laughs> yeah, I can get down with this kind of soup. I think I have it all over my face, my hands, my arms. Thank you. <laughs> so besides just the fish, there's shrimp, yuca, potatoes. Wow, that fish is so good. So I'm not usually a huge seafood fan with stews and this stuff, but this is so mild, it's delicious. Just enough seafood taste, but not overpowering. That seafood soup was so delicious. It was only $3.95 for that huge bowl. We couldn't finish it, sadly. We're also stuffed. I drank too much of the beer, I think. Filled up on the beer. It's always a mistake. Now we're getting close to Universidad Central, which is one of the biggest uh, public universities of the country. And here, for example, if you have a business, like in, you're, you're in food or everything, we call it al por mayor. So mm -hmm. you get like the best prices when you buy more, you know? Yeah. Yes. So Fine this bulk. is kind of like, exactly, this oh, is okay. the place to be. Wait, this is the Ecuadorian Costco. Costco, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go check We're it out. Going. I love Costco. But a pork this size can have around 200 portions. Okay. So it can feed a lot of people. Okay, this is one of our last stops of the day, and this is Ornano. So it's a huge plate of food. All the stops have been huge plates of food, but this is roasted pork. You saw the whole roasted pig, and it's topped over smashed potatoes. So it's like mashed potatoes, but then he grills them until they get crunchy on the outside. And it also has some vegetables with like a vinegar, sweet and sour sauce, and avocado and a little bit of salad. So we're gonna have to make rooms in our stomachs. This looks amazing. I also kind of want to just go in with my hands. This looks so delicious. Like, look at this. This is just so savory and tender. It just like melts in your mouth. The flavor is top notch and so seasoned so well. Absolutely delicious. Best pork I've had in a long time. The smashed potatoes are to die for. And the sauce, Agriela, Agriela, fantastic. Mm. $4 for this huge plate again. So affordable. I can't believe you don't hear more about Ecuadorian food. So delicious and amazing. So much great diversity in this market. We're heading to a fruit stand now to try some more fruits. And I think we're getting a coffee pretty soon too, which is much needed. Need a little afternoon pick me up. Wow, it's really fresh and white. So this is a cherry, mo a cherry moya. Chiri, a chiri moya. It's super, super sweet. It has like a almost a strawberry banana ish flavor, but then you get these like little black seeds in there too. It's really delicious. She's really enjoying it. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she's over there just munching away. Double fisting. <laughs> mm. I think it might be one of my favorite fruits. Oh, that's so delicious. It's delicious, right? Oh, it's so perfectly sweet. ripe. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. <laughs> We're both like, wow, oh my, wow, I've never had these. <laughs> this might be one of my new favorite fruits. It is so sweet and delicious. Perfect little dessert. It's a little messy. So worth it. Oh yeah. My favorites, number one, number two. Yeah, yep, new favorite fruits since we came to South America. Well, favorite fruits, granadilla, obviously, and then oh, the chirimoya, oh. and we cannot forget lulo is up there. Lulo. Lulo's amazing. So those are my top fruits. Super psyched, I found a new favorite fruit. Perfect dessert. 
I think now I just get a coffee. What an awesome tour. Danielle is so knowledgeable about the history, the food. Such great variety too. Okay, and the other thing is usually on a food tour we have like small samples. These are like massive portions at every place we went to. Right? We ate most of it today. And we tried to share a dish as much as we could. We did. Yeah. The three of us did. Yeah. <laughs> that you're safe. We're here at our last stop of the day. We're going to end with a chocolate and a coffee. It doesn't get much better than that. Wow. Salud. Salud. So excited for this flat white. Oh yeah, that's so perfect. That coffee is delicious. Mm. I love flat whites because it's just the right amount of milk, not overdoing it. You can still taste the coffee. So I'm not patient enough. I've already dug into my iced coffee. It's delicious. I'm super excited to try the chocolates. I think I want to go for the white chocolate first. What's interesting about the white chocolate is it's typically white chocolate's made from like all the leftovers, right? Yeah. But this one is made from the pure, it's like the white part of the cacao bean, right? Mm -hmm. So I've never had anything like that. It's delicious. Usually white chocolate has like a very like fakey fake, fake taste. Yeah. Like always, this everyone's always not. gonna say white chocolate, it's not real chocolate, but this is real white chocolate. Wow. You know? you like it? I like it. I really like it. I mean, I don't think I love it as much as like 70%, but I still love it. I love anything that's chocolate. Okay. Well, it's 70% or not? 74. 71%. 71. Mm. I just love the perfectly round shapes are just, very pleasing to like me. Chips. Like little chips. Nice chips. Mm. That one is perfection. Dark chocolate is also the best thing. Mm -hmm. I'd need a glass of wine with that. Or coffee. Or, or coffee, coffee, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I could literally inhale all three of those. Like all of them. You already tried. You can make a sandwich. Because they're making me slow down. I can make a, I can make a chocolate sandwich. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do a, a chocolate, chocolate sandwich. sandwich. Oh, all of them. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> We're making a new thing now, like s'mores of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chocolate invasion. <laughs> I mean, good, amazing. That's a great ending point. <laughs> Just tried the white chocolate. I am not a fan of white chocolate. Never have been. It's delicious. Never thought I'd ever say that is amazing white chocolate. It's the mix with the coffee too. Perfect ending to a great day. Thank you for everything. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Such a great host. So knowledgeable. Don't miss it, you guys. Come to Quito. So many amazing foods, so much diversity. Thanks for watching. Cool. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed this amazing food tour. Thank you so much to Bondabu. Yes. Bondabu food tours and thank you so much Daniela you're such an amazing host today thank you guys I had so much fun it was really nice yes we tried and I hope yeah. you'll make a lot of videos all around the world <laughs> <laughs> we tried so many amazing amazing dishes huge portions if you come to Quito definitely don't miss this tour and we'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>